Hello everyone. I miss you so much and I'm so used to meeting with you guys on Wednesday nights and having so much fun and reading all of our lovely stories together and dancing while we sing our catechism songs. Since we can't meet together, I thought I would go get some of the books from the church and read them on our video here so that you guys could still hear them. And I know this one is a favorite of somebody. Hmm, I wonder who. Hmm, maybe you'll be able to figure it out. I'm gonna go ahead and read it. It's called The Doctor Who Became a Preacher. Doctors help sick people get better. They help healthy people stay well. They work, the work doctors do is very important. Martin Lloyd-Jones is a doctor. He takes care of sick people who need his help. Because he loves people, he works hard for them. That little boy doesn't look like he likes it very much, huh? Do you guys like to go to the doctor? But Dr. Lloyd-Jones is wondering if he should stop being a doctor. People's souls need help, just like their bodies. There are many good doctors to help their bodies. But there, are there enough good preachers to help their souls? God calls Dr. Lloyd-Jones to be a preacher because he loves God. He works hard to tell people the good news about the Lord Jesus Christ. Look here, there's not very many people so far. But let's see what happens. After many years, lots of men and women and boys and girls come to hear him preach from the Bible. Can you see all the people? They hear that Jesus can forgive their sins. They hear from the Bible how to live as Christians. God uses Dr. Lloyd-Jones to help a lot of people. So many people hear him that he becomes well known. When he is old, he even meets Queen Elizabeth. Most preachers do not become well known. Most preachers do not meet Queen Elizabeth. But when God keeps them faithful, preachers help people wherever they are. Hope you enjoyed your book. I have one more to read to you. This one is called The Woman Who Loved to Give Books. Mrs. Spurgeon needs a new house. Mr. Spurgeon has so many books, there are no room for more. So they pull down the old house and build a larger one. It is big enough for all of Mr. Spurgeon's books. Is your home like that? Do you have a lot of books? My home's like that. I love books. Mr. Spurgeon used to go with her, Mrs. Spurgeon used to go with her husband when he preached and traveled, but now she can't. Mrs. Spurgeon is thankful that the new house is finished. She is sick and she needs somewhere to rest. She wonders how she can serve the Lord when she is sick. Do you think it might be hard for her to stay home and have to sit there when he goes out? She's probably trying to think of something she can do since she has to stay home all the time. I wonder what she'll find to do. Books help Mr. Spurgeon to be a good minister. Maybe books can help other ministers too. Hmm. Mrs. Spurgeon starts sending good books to ministers who do not have enough money to buy them. Her friends help her. Look. They are all putting books together in packages. Do you see all of this? This is very kind because books are very expensive. Thousands of books go to poor ministers. The books help the ministers understand the Bible better. Look how happy he is to get that. Even though she is sick, Mrs. Spurgeon is serving the Lord Jesus Christ. Mr. Spurgeon's books gave her an idea that helped her show the love of God to others. I wonder how we can show the love of God to others. What do you think? Maybe you can talk to your mom and dad and come up with some ideas. Well, I have enjoyed our time together. If you guys would like to send me a picture 
um, that you have drawn or if you want to have your mom and dad take a picture of you and send it to me I will make sure that I put it on our next video with our next installment of our books and we can show it to each other so that everybody in our little group can see just go ahead and have your parents drop them in the mail to me I miss you guys so much I hope everyone is healthy and well and I am praying for you bye